So passage bio is using a vector that was created by the University of Pennsylvania gene therapy program under the direction of Dr. Jim Wilson. It's an AAV HU68 um, vector that um, has particular tropism for the organs that are affected in, in GM1. Passage Bio has taken the approach of using an ICM delivery. There are several advantages for an ICM approach. The first one is it allows transduction of the brain much more efficiently than treatments that have to cross the blood brain barrier. As a result, we can use much lower doses of the vector compared to other um, modes of delivering gene therapy. And that reduces the risk of toxicity. There are some other advantages of the ICM approach. The um, exposure to the liver, because we're injecting the CSF is much less. And as I think the audience probably knows, liver toxicity has been the major um, concern with AAB vectors to date. Another advantage is that with the ICM approach, we can give the gene therapy in the setting of neutralizing antibodies. This has limited gene therapy trials to date. And yet, because the antibodies don't cross the blood brain barrier, we can continue to dose them. And in our trial, our first patient did have neutralizing antibodies, but we still um, move forward with the dosing.